We're at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit. I came over here to the IBM booth. Tim Richer, how's your day going so far? It's doing well, Kate. Thanks for joining us over here. So I would love for you to take us around the booth and show us what you've got going on with IBM. Absolutely, yeah. We are showing off here our AI and data platform called Watson X. Uh, we are here talking to clients about generative AI and all sorts of use cases and models and uh, tools and technology around generative AI. We're gonna talk about data fabric, but actually I wanna start everyone here. And here we're talking about two of our AI assistants that we use through the Watson X platform, Watson X Assistant and Watson X Orchestrate. So Watson X Assistant is for those customer service use cases. Think chatbot or internal search engines that you can use Watson X Assistant for. And we've got Watson X Orchestrate where we can do things like HR automation, digital labor, tie into your productivity email to make your workday more productive with generative AI. That's what we need more productivity. Speaking of data fabric, and we're talking about getting our data ready for AI. For one, we start looking at the databases. So many of our clients have IBM Natizo as a database, but there's many open source and third-party databases that can connect in. You have different data catalogs that you're using, whether they're proprietary, built in-house. IBM has a set of data catalogs, open source data catalogs that are connecting to. Even things like vector databases, like the Milvis open source database, which is a very popular database. It's now embedded in WatsonX.data. And so folks can basically have a variety of tools of databases and catalogs to start to connect to and get their data ready for AI. Let me continue the tour here and we're actually gonna go over to this corner of the booth. Starting on this screen here is WatsonX.ai. And that is essentially our studio for building AI and machine learning and really getting generative AI projects started. Think about where you begin to select different models, where you begin to manipulate those models with your own data and tune those models, begin to do prompt engineering, and begin to get those models ready for your use cases and your applications where you're going to serve them. And so that's WatsonX.ai. Here's WatsonX.governance. And this is all around governing your models anywhere they are in their model lifecycle. And so you're looking at things like risk and compliance for those models. What are the rules and policies that you have to adhere to? looking at the model throughout its model life cycle from all of its origination to deployment, and then rating the model for things like risk and drift and making sure the model is actually doing what you want it to do when you set it up into practice. Well, Tim, thank you so much for showing me around the IBM booth. Uh, well, thanks for coming, Kate, and glad to have you. And thanks for coming on the tour with us.